Ryan's dream of qualifying for the World Cup is over. Were you pleased with the way your side played tonight? Well, I think the point is that uh, everybody saw there that uh, the commitment of the players. It was a realistic target to get the seven, eight, nine goals, but it's not an easy thing to do. I think everybody knows that. And what a start. Nobody could have scripted that start. And I think that the players themselves showed they were very keen. I think even more so because we knew at half-time the score was 1-1 in Poland, but when no more informa information was coming forward, I think the players suspected that it was either still a draw or going Holland's way. And for them still to show the drive to actually sh uh, do, I think, is of credit to them. Stuart Pearce was unconsolable at the end, wasn't he? Well, I mean, I'm, in one respect, I suppose, really, that it's, um, it's good for... Well, I say good the fact that Holland got the result because I think it would have been very hard for anyone to have won if, if in fact we'd uh, just missed by that. How do you reflect on the qualifying campaign now that the final ball has been kicked? Well you see people look over ten games and say okay that's what I said we must be judged on and I must be judged on and we've not succeeded and therefore uh, you know one has to look at that and say well things haven't gone right. Um, my own particular view if we look at it from a purely sort of footballing point of view, you look into each country and you have a two-match series against them, and we didn't get sufficient points against the teams that are going there. That's Norway and Holland. Now, both at Wembley, we were 1-0 up against Norway and 2-0 up against Holland. Now, for me, you, you really, you can perhaps afford to draw one of your home games, but you can't afford to be dropping home points. And the future for Graham Taylor now? Well, as I've said all of the time, a great deal of speculation, which I totally understand because that goes with this particular job. But I've tried very much over the last two months and will continue to try uh, so. I keep getting pressed, but I will not make any public comment. That's for discussion with officials of the Football Association. If anybody else wishes to make public uh, comments, that's up to them. But I certainly won't be doing that until I've discussed a lot of things with the, the officials and then I'm sure that some sort of announcement will be made sometime in the future. The pressures that you've been put under as England manager, what observations would you make about that? Well, I mean, the point is if your results are right, or, or certainly better than they have been, you probably don't get under so much pressure. Every mo football manager knows that you live by your results. The kind of pressure that the, this job has, if that's the right word, is the, is the public pressure, that there are so many things that have got nothing to do with the playing of the game on the 90 minutes, but they affect it. It's as we've seen in this particular game. Everything is surrounded by... It's as if sometimes that the whole situation is to suit the media and not the footballers. So what now? after flying home? Well, I shall spend a little bit of time, hopefully, with uh, my wife and, and my family. Uh, it's not always pleasant for them. I think a lot of the public, although they're aware of certain things, I don't think that they know sometimes what goes on. I mean, we were in the States in the summer, um, the, the result, and uh, unfortunately we had some media harassment at home where my wife was on her own. Uh, that's not pleasant, and um, so I think that they've had to suffer a little bit, and I shall spend a little bit of time with them because they thoroughly deserve it. Would you like to continue in some capacity within the international setup, though, for England? Against Nick, I'm not in, in any shape or form going to get involved in that kind of discussion. I shall be talking privately with people, seeing what they have to say, and obviously I shall have my own feelings about a lot of the situation. And I will then say that to the people that matter, and then, as I say, I'm sure there'll be a public statement made somewhere along the line. Graham, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much indeed. Hard luck. Thanks a lot.